Uh, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. This is Stephen Spector with Dell, and uh, today I have uh, two interesting guests from a company called Datadog. Um, Alex and Amit are here, and Alex and Amit, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Amit Agarwal. I'm a VP of product at Datadog, um, and I run products here. Before this, I used to work at uh, Quest Software, now a part of Dell, actually, and uh, I was director of product management there. And um, I'm Alex Rosenblatt. I'm the director of marketing here at Datadog. Uh, before Datadog, I was actually the product marketing manager for virtualization and cloud at Dell. Uh, so I'm actually getting, uh, I'd say, much deeper into the cloud uh, now here at Datadog and uh, looking at different technologies. Great. So why don't we just go ahead and dive in? And, and I think, you know, we've all talked before. And I think your logo is still fantastic with the dog. Perhaps I'll have to get you to, you know, hire my dog for the official picture. And then I can make some money from my dogs. But can you tell us a little bit about Data with Dog, the, you know, what you do and a little history about the company? Yeah, let me let me jump right into it. Um, so let me give you the backstory first on, on how the company got started. And uh, it might be interesting to your listeners. Um, so the company was started by two of our co-founders, uh, Olivia Pamel and Alexi Lequoc, and uh, they ran DevOps at their previous company, which was a major SaaS player in the education space. So, you know, in, in running their teams, one of the things that they found was was their their teams, namely Dev and Ops, were always at odds with. The, at each other, with each other. They were finger pointing uh, whenever there was a problem with conflicting data and metrics because, you know, different uh, members of the dev and ops teams use different tools to monitor the same systems in different ways. So uh, Alexi and Olivier, they, they found the gap in, in technology where dev and op teams uh, didn't have a good way to, to collaborate over, over their data. And, um, that's how Datadog was born. To and one of their primary goals was to uh, bring together all the system alerts, metrics, changes, etc., into a single place, so Dev and Ops teams could collaborate and resolve issues quickly. So now, when it, when when I look at your solution, um, it's built for SaaS providers. Is that correct? It's built for both. Uh, actually, it's built for both SaaS and on-premise vendors. So. Uh, anyone can use our service uh, for monitoring their systems, whether it be on-premise or in the cloud. And and can we talk about, I mean, you have a great, I mean, the people have a snapshot, of course, in the video, you'll be able to see this. Can you talk a little bit about some of the things you can measure? It's a really nice, um, you know, I don't know what the right word is, uh, is, I guess, dashboard, but it's well beyond any kind of dashboard I've seen. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, sure. So, uh, and you'll see it in some of the dashboards as well. So, so what we do is we, we are an infrastructure monitoring as a service provider. And we bring together, uh, like I said previously, metrics and events from all your systems. So, so some of the things that we show you inside of Datadog is, uh, uh, metrics from your servers. For example, you know, basic stuff like CPU, IO, memory, disk space. Uh, and then overlay that with um, with metrics and events from the various SaaS services that you may be using. So, for instance, GitHub, PagerDuty, Pingdom, etc. Uh, and some of these tools you may be using for doing uh, source control. Other tools you may be doing using to monitor site availability or escalations. So we bring in data from all these things together. Uh, as well, we bring in data from configuration and change management tools like uh, Chef and Puppet uh, and various service com components as well. So web servers, database servers, application servers, caches, et cetera. So, so we will bring in data from all of these places into single dashboards where you can correlate all this data and, uh, and, and view things together in one place. Now I, now, I notice your dashboard also has, it looks like it's actually got, I guess, Twitter built into it. Is, is that correct? Yeah, you could get, so, so the idea for, idea for, for, data, for Datadog is to bring in, uh, both system events as well as, um, as well as, uh, alerts and, uh, metrics that are from, from various systems. 
So what you see in a Twitter type stream there is actually a stream of events that are happening in your in your environment. So what you see there is like, you know, things getting alerted on or various jobs completing or people posting code uh, or committing code into GitHub. So you see all that in a stream. And the reason for that stream is for the entire team to be aware of what's going on. And if there are things that they want to collaborate over, they can do that in a tr Twitter type way where they can um, uh, they can comment on each other's uh, changes or things that are happening in the system and start an online conversation about that. Yeah, there's, there's also a nice historical component that uh, you record that history of the conversation of what happened. And I think that in a lot of today's infrastructures, especially uh, those that run on the clouds with a bunch of different services feeding into it, um, you know, things move at the speed of light. And two weeks feels like what might have previously been two months. And, you know, you kind of forget what happened, when it happened, why you, why you decided to make a change. So you can go back and actually look at the conversation leading up to a particular change and refresh the entire team's memory as to uh, why the team might have gone down a particular path. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, I'm Sorry, just, I was going to say, I think that's a really neat feature that has that ability to communicate right on that dashboard. And, uh, you know, I, I've never seen anyone else doing that. So kudos to you guys. That's really a great idea. Thanks. So it just, you know, real quick, when it comes to pricing, the way it looks like here is that I can actually just go out to your site, download it, and start using it and try it out. And then if I like it as I, as I use it more and more, then I start paying a, a monthly fee based on how many hosts I'm doing. Is, it, is that the correct way to look at it? That's correct. So you, you pay a monthly fee based on the number of hosts you're using. And we are completely free up to five hosts. So if you are just running a home-based project or a, or a little side project, uh, you can download and install our agent uh, in your environments and get going uh, right away without paying anything. Well, that's great. Did, did you gentlemen have anything else, you, else you'd like to add? I, I um, you know, I'm certainly looking forward to getting this uh, recording out, and uh, hopefully, people that are in the back end working on these things will take a look at your product. It is a really unique, and uh, it's good to see people doing something totally different in the space. And uh, I, I like finding companies like yours that do that. Yeah, I, I guess the one thing I, I'd like to bring up is um, just the long list of integrations. I, I think that um, on it. Uh, really put forward the point of being able to get all that data into one spot and correlate it. And the nice thing is um, the the download process is, is really quite quick. You just sign up, you pick the different applications or databases or uh, I, I guess uh, cloud service providers that you use that we have integrations into. And after uh, setting up a couple of agents in just a, in just minutes, you've got all that data in one place. It really is very fast, and there, there's quick time to value. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the bottom of your homepage, it lists all the uh, platforms and everything you're connected to. That's quite an extensive list. And, uh, you know, pretty much if you're doing cloud, you guys are connected to it. Well, I appreciate uh, both of you taking the time today to talk about it. Um, I encourage all my listeners to go over to datadog.com and uh, check it out. And, you know, why not download it, put it on your system, and see what happens. I think you'll be uh, quite pleasantly surprised. And I know that uh, you guys are sponsoring all these DevOps days happening all over the country. And uh, for those of you listening, um, pre-April – 30th of 2013, um, Datadog will be down there at, um, here in Austin talking about DevOps, and I'll be there myself, so I'll make sure to get a, a in-person interview and maybe a, a demo that we can add to this video as well while we're there. But thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, Stephen.